Sorry, say the last. I mean, we have to be critical with ourselves because what we played in the first 45 minutes was not, in no area, just what we wanted to 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 see and what we wanted to play. Uh, since we had all our defensive midfielders, our few natural ball winners not available, uh, we decided to go for a back five. Uh, to be honest, I decided that directly after the game against Norwich, in which we also, if we're very honest, allowed them to have five or six massive opportunities to score. And if it wasn't for, hadn't it been for for uh, um, for David in goal, we could have easily conceded three or four goals ag against Norwich at home. So that's why I decided to go for an additional central defender. I don't think at all that the first half had anything to do with our formation. It had to do with the way that we played the game. And uh, the way that we conceded the first goal was definitely not part of the game plan to allow them a transi transitional moment like the one that happened. And then obviously being 1-0 down, that also affected our confidence level again. So the first half was just not good enough at all. We then changed. We changed from a back five to a back four again. Uh, I think the first 25 minutes of the second half was better, a lot better. But uh, still, in those moments that we had, we didn't con we didn't score a goal. That might have changed the game again if we had scored a goal, but we didn't. And the way that we prepared, I have to say, the third goal again was exactly those kind of balls that were on the blacklist of things that we shouldn't do against Liverpool, a 12-yard pass into Anthony Alanga, who is not a player for that kind of ball. They are just waiting for those kind of balls, Liverpool, and then we conceded the third one. because Jürgen came six years ago and uh, if you compare the squad that he inherited and I think he came after eight or nine games in that season in the end finished eighth this is where roundabout we currently are he had a point average in that season of 1.6 but with every transfer window after that they developed the kind of squad that they had today and again I'm not blaming anyone, not my players, nor anybody else, but we just have to realize what kind of squad they had available today. Look at their bench, look at even four players, that, that what, they were not even in, the, in their squad. Roberto Firmino was the only one that was injured. Oxlade Chamberlain not in the squad. Minamino not in the squad. Uh, um, Harvey Elliott not in the squad. This is just shows what kind of quality squad and team they have built together and uh, working together with Jürgen and his team in the last six years. This is not only a question of quality of players, it's also a question of how they play together, what kind of mentality do they have, what kind of energy, what kind of physicality compared with, yeah, with speed, high speed. <laughs> I would say they have 25 Formula One racing cars in, in their squad. I don't, I don't think so, to be honest, no. I don't think that they have mentally checked out. It's just a different level. They, they have better players than we have, if you look at it in total. And, um, and this is what, what reflected, was, was reflected by the results today. So uh, there will be a rebuild for sure, but right now that doesn't help us because we still have another five games to play. So that there has to be a rebuild for me was clear even when I came in, in December and after the first three or four weeks, for me that was obvious. But uh, right now it doesn't help and for us it's extremely um, embarrassing also as a coaching staff to have press conference with conferences like the one we have right now. But we just have to admit they are better than us. Sorry, again? I think so, yes. Uh, we had a, a conversation in the locker room right now where Bruno also said something towards the team and uh, I said something, but yeah. In the end, right now, it doesn't help. 
we, we have to hope for some injured players coming back for Saturday and then just take it again game by game. I don't, I don't think it makes sense to speculate about our chances to finish in the top four after a performance like the one today. Um, the only thing that we can do is put our focus on the next game and this is on Saturday away at Arsenal. I mean, what I tell them in the locker room stays there, obviously, but the <laughs> in general, it was similar to what I was was saying now. I mean, uh, that we were just not up to it in the first half. We didn't win a single second ball. In most of the first ball situations, we were just spectators. We were onlookers, what was happening on the pitch. And this is, if you play like that against a team like Liverpool, then it's difficult. Well, Yeah, but if you if you cannot get hold of the ball, if you cannot put at least a little bit of pressure on the ball against a team like Liverpool, yeah, because we, we we just didn't we just didn't attack them, we didn't dare to attack them. It almost looked as if they were afraid to be outplayed. But again, in the second half, this was better. The first 25 minutes showed that we could cause them problems if we tried to put pressure on them. But this didn't happen in the first half. He, he seems to have problems with his calf, quite similar to Fred. So it, it se he seems to have pulled his muscle, his calf muscle. And right now, I don't think that he will be available for the next two games. Why not? Why? Why? Yeah, but why not? I mean. <laughs> Why, why this is not a question of the city. I mean, even in our own city, it happened with Pep. He came six years ago. So if you look at those two clubs who are, if you look at those two clubs who are currently dominating the Premier League, they did exactly that. They brought in two man managers, but not only did they bring in two managers, they also changed the whole thing with regard to formation. What kind of players do we need? What kind of football do we want to play? I mean, the headline of everything was, how do we want to play? And uh, underneath this headline, in every transfer window, they, 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 they created the team that they have in both clubs. The Wolves team where did not play was, Pardon? The, was, was the Wolves group that you haven't played, or the owners, the fans weren't going there, and they did the owners a hard job and didn't win. You know, did you really? I don't know. I don't think so. But, I mean, <laughs> any owner should, should, if you analyze the situation, it's not that difficult to analyze. The team needs a rebuild, not because some players have to go, but quite a few players have uh, no contracts anymore. Their contracts are expiring. And therefore, for me, it's clear that there, there will be, I don't know, six, seven, eight, maybe 10 new players. And then before you sign those players, you need to be aware, how do you want to play? What kind of football does the new manager want to play? And then take it from there and then bring every single player fitting into that kind of profile. Okay. <laughs>